Hello everyone, this is Eth Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, here we are, goofballing in Ether Raids. What's new? <laughs> uh, we're up against this, well, there's some low, lowish level structures, but the main thing here is there's just a bunch of common units you see on defense slapped in. Gatekeeper's actually really solid on defense when used well. Uh, not entirely sure what we're going to, if we're going to worry about Gatekeeper too much here. We're pretty much probably going for some Slaughter Fest strat using turn 3 Bolt Tower. My first impression is because of the double knots. Since we can isolate these two guys, since there's no odd recovery, unless I'm like overlooking something, <laughs> uh, which would be kind of sad. Peony's forced to dance here, and there's nothing that can happen because we have Sig both Sigurds isolated. So I I, I think so at least. <laughs> If something happens because Nino can, uh, we, we leave Nino in range to attack the and then, and then, well, rip. <laughs> but I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking about how we want to actually set up here. It's, uh, kind of non-trivial because these structures actually, I want to get rid of the Bright Shrine just to get rid of it because it's probably going to be relevant in some capacity. But we're probably not going to. I think we're just going to go for a very simple turn one. Uh, we're going to have Nino here, I think. So we could do... Oh, we could have Nino here. That's fine. Uh, so we probably want a one-shot Peony because she's going to have 55 speed. Thanks to uh, Charging Corn here and Attack Speed Bond 4. And... We can't quite get 60 speed without using Kaden to reposition. So I feel like it's probably best if we uh, go for just raw attack to one shot. So Peony here has 74 res bulk with Bright Shrine. That means we need 77. Uh, which one? 77 attack, basically. So 63, 69. 76, 82. Oh, wait. 84. So Nino is actually in range of Milla. So that means we don't need air to be near Nino for her to kill, if I'm understanding this correctly. <laughs> Giant trademark, if I'm understanding this correctly, let's make sure that's true because I, I just want to get rid of the Bright Shrine. Also gives us faster access to Ether Fountain if we need to rush. Um, I think it'll just be helpful if we can get that. In that case, then we don't have to worry about the attack speed master. Right? Yeah, it just works. Period. Alright. Erica doesn't get like plus. Uh, I I have brave Erica. She doesn't get plus one movement from anything. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong here? Yeah. Oh, there's chill attack. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Good thing we uh, double checked that one. That would have been bad. 50, 56, 62, 69. Uh, 71. So if we want an exact one shot, we need to have Nino reposition. We can have Kaden reposition Nino as well. So this should just work. This is just a better formation in general. Minus the fact Kaden has to reposition Nino. If you ignore that part, like this. it was pretty good. Uh, so we're going to maintain our Nilla positioning here. And there's the dance. And yeah, as expected, nothing actually happens. Okay, so the old, the actual problem here is if we dance... Uh, <laughs> we uh, reposition with Kaden here, take out Peony of Nino. We can't get Nino. We can't get everyone out. No, we can, right? Because we got Gentle Dream on air. 
morning. Yeah, you didn't target. So we might as well move Mila here. Wait, let's exclamation point order. Um, so we can pick up the kill, reposition with Caden. Nino's here, pick up this kill. Dance from below. Then with Gentle Dream, we can... Okay, I don't like that because Caden's not in peace. Can we just have air kill? Yes, we can. In that case, let's just do that, right? Why would we do anything else? <laughs> uh, good question. That even sets up Iceberg. Like, I think that's just better in every way, shape, and capacity. Except for the fact that I would really ideally like to break this, but we're not going to worry about that. Also, the notch not... Okay, the notch should not move first before Erica, if I understand this correctly. I could be wrong. She'll just, like, snipe down someone. She'll snipe down air, I guess, yes. in that case. Let's go for the kill here. Ready. That's an iceberg ready. Yeah, I figure that would never work out. Um... Let's do this. So, if Erica does get extra movement, she'll snipe down air. Like this. Actually, that's probably a bad idea to sack our main source of uh, defense buffs. But yeah, Erica does move first, and yeah, every everything's everything's under control. We already <laughs> computed out all the movement for these units. So now we just gotta go ham and hyper nuke a lot of units here. Uh, the knots are actually a problem because we have to get rid of one of them, but not both of them. This is actually kind of strange. Uh, one thing we could do is bait out Sigurd. Well, actually, we can't bait. Yes, we can. We can bait out Sigurd, uh, with Nilla as long as, uh, so we can have air attack and get smited back over. That's something. Uh, Caden's not going to be able to actually kill anything. <laughs> kind of a problem. Uh, he and he can pick up. So we can pick up a only triple kill. Unless Caden can pick up a kill I'm missing here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, 16 out of 61 is barely enough to proc the damage reduction. I don't think there's any way Caden can pick up the kill on Erica here. Unless we... It might be possible. I guess it wouldn't be good. Actually, it'd be fine. Sigur doesn't one-shot him. Uh, wait, no, because, like, if we pick up a kill of... I guess if we pick up a kill of Caden, that's all he's going to kill. I think that's the point. Um, so we have to do some damage calcs here to see if Caden can possibly pick up the kill on Erica. So we need to do at least 22 damage. And... Uh, just 48... 55 right now No a lot more because joint drive defense and close guard um, I'm so brain dead Caden's attack here is 54 He's actually in range of Milla so 56 67 so if Erica is If Erica is the last unit we kill Is it feasible? Let's see She's the last unit we kill. Is it feasible? Um, do we have 41? Because we get also, also get the dagger debuff from air. So that would be 26 damage. Which is uh, more than enough to kill. And we don't need Flower of Joy for that. So in that case... Good morning. Shall we go on a rampage, Kappa? Um, the problem here is exclamation point order doesn't work out for us. 
because Nino has to take out Sigurd first before Gatekeeper. Ah, uh, this is kind of a yikes. Hmm. <laughs> so that that's a problem because Erica will have too way too much defense. So 43 and then 5, 3 from form. 8 from gatekeeper is 59. And he's not transformed, so 56 yeah, it's not even close. Wait, I'll, I forgot the dagger debuff, and that calc that doesn't matter. So, how can we do this? I guess what we could do is not set 1 HP. We could have, after Nino picks up the kill on Sigurd, we can dance with Peony from here. And then use... Air picks up the kill here, so then Nino can teleport over here and pick up the kill. <laughs> this is so convoluted. It should work out, trademark. Yes. Good morning. Minus the gatekeeper part. I forgot about gatekeeper's teleportation thing. <laughs> this is going well, everyone. Uh, yeah, about that. So, the problem now is Gatekeeper still exists. That's pretty much the problem. At least Gatekeeper's too slow to actually pick up the kill on anyone here. But, uh... There's going to be... Two allies left or something. I like how I forgot about that whole thing with Gatekeeper in the first place. Yes. Yeah, detailed report. We're so brain dead. So if we... How is... N oh, not able to reach because of that knot. I see. Okay, I think we're okay. All we have to do is take out Erica, take out Not. We could smite up Nino. I, I don't see the point. Lovely. I can help. Let's uh. Sure yeah, let's do this. And smite Kaden over. Wait, do we want to do that? Yeah, this is fine. Gatekeeper is probably going to attack Peony. Okay, that works, I guess. So now we just gotta make a barricade of units around Sigurd and use Milla to attract him. It's no longer turn three, so we don't have to worry about that. Just have Peony chill here and move up Milla. That's pretty much it. And we should be able to pick up the rest of the stuff. Is there any way we can flex value? We can probably flex value even. Oh man, Milla can even double, so that's just winning on the spot, yeah. Let's, uh, yes? flex fell you if we can. Because we, we all love to flex fell you. <laughs> Alright. Peony not quite picking up the kill. That's probably just a Caden support thing. Farming SP Pog. <laughs> and there we go. Not too shabby. Yeah, isolation really... Murders the setup. If they had a uh, odd recovery, definitely would be more devastating. I feel like, although again, the defense still wouldn't be perfect because I believe Erica still moves first before the knots. If the knots, if Erica had like an assist or something, like a useless assist, 
I don't know, like reciprocal aid or something. That, that's probably not useless, but uh, something that's not a movement assist, if you don't want to run a movement assist, the knots move first, and that extends Brave Erica's range. And Brave Erica hits like a truck, especially when bonus, that extra 10 HP is massive with her damage reduction. Makes it significantly harder to one-shot her. But uh, enough rambling, that's going to be it for this up. Oh yeah, Gatekeeper's bonus too. <laughs> Uh, I can't forget all these things. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Of Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!